Have you ever felt dead inside, grinding inside the Wild West for auction guns? Well, it's time to stop. Today, I'm going to give you a $17,000 loader, which with a bit of skill can outperform a $4.5 million worth of auction guns only loader, starting right now. This is me, your average friendly YouTuber with crippling depression and trauma. Since the very start of the auction update, I got scammed of my Peterson and Lancaster. Yes, I learned the pain of being scammed the hard way. Since that incident, me and my friends worked our asses off grinding for three weeks straight, only to unlock three plastic guns and one water gun. Back in the time of release, we felt like we needed these auction guns to become good in the game. It felt crucial. Now we have mixed beliefs. My friend still believes that having auction gun makes someone better in the wild west. Whereas I, an intelligent individual, believes the opposite. I believe that every gun and item are equally good in the wild west in their own subjective ways. For example, nobody will try to snipe a player with a shotgun. It's used for close range and it should stick to that. Now, after doing research for exactly 10 minutes, I figured out the cheapest, best loadout for PvP that requires average skill like me. Starting with the Hardfoot Rifle. The first and the foremost important part of this loadout is the primary rifle, which for us is the Hardfoot Rifle. It's self-explanatory why Hardfoot is here. It is amazing in long, medium and close range fights, extremely high damage and fast reload speed. Anyone with average skill would be able to easily use a Hardfoot for their fights. The Hardfoot has no match of its own. Some might point out that the newly added Martini Henry rifle is similar to the Hardfoot and might even be better. To clarify, I personally undisputedly believe Hardfoot is better than the Martini Henry rifle in terms of wall banging and regular fast pace, flick style PvP. And now, compared to the $4.5 million loadout, it's a Spitfire. It's already known to us that Spitfire is no match for the Hardfoot in close or medium range. Spitfire is a sniper rifle used for sniping, whereas Hardfoot is a marksman rifle used for all scenarios. Guys, we also shouldn't ignore the major price differences while speaking about the quality. Hardfoot solos. Now for the second weapon of this loadout. I've got the Lancy Double Shot Pistol. The Lancy Double Shot Pistol is the all-rounder of this loadout. It is one of the cheapest and the best weapons you can get off the general store. It has good accuracy for its price. It is fairly good at close and medium range, but using it in long range will do plastic damage. Lancy is also known for its double headshot style PvP, which does require some luck because after shooting the first bullet, the recoil could possibly change the direction of the second bullet. The only problem with this is that it only has two bullet capacity. Running out of ammo in the middle of a gunfight is a big problem that all of us have faced in our time playing. While being compared to the Lancaster, Lancaster in a theoretical perspective beats Lancy. Lancy is like a cheaper version of a Lancaster, a very cheaper version. In essence to the first two guns, I've probably created a doubt in your head. How is this loadout going to be good if it only has three bullets in capacity so far? Well, to cover that up, I picked the most forgotten gem of a weapon that everybody ignores. Hopefully after the video is released, its popularity will rise. I'm talking none other than the Model 3 Revolver. I know some of you are already flipping out of your chair after hearing his name. How did a $350 gun become a part of this loadout? Well, every side has its own story, including me. After being scammed of a Peterson Navy, I wanted to quit the game. The gun that I worked so hard for disappeared from my hands. Then my friend recommended me a cheaper version of the Peterson, the Model 3. The Model 3 at the start felt like a Walmart version of the Peterson. It had half of the damage of the Peterson and looked very plastic. But my perspective of it changed when I tried fanning it. It had amazing fan speed with high accuracy. As you may already know, I was very intelligent. I was one of the few players at that time that knew how to fan shift. It's like shift shooting but while fanning. This instantly converted the Model 3's slow speed to a very rapid gun with strafing. You might be thinking, ah. I know the best cheap loadout in the game now. I will just buy it and become the best player. Wrong. Even if you have the best cheapest loadout in the game, you still won't be good unless you master the three following game mechanics. I don't want to waste your time going one by one in detail. So here they are. Shape shooting. Fan shooting. Accuracy. Mastering all of these three will take you five to six months. We all must know already. Perfect practice makes a man perfect. You need to practice daily and improve slowly. Or else you can just ask me to teach you everything I know. Let me be brutally honest with you. By just doing the following three, you won't reach my level of skill. You need to know everything I know to become good, if not better than me. 
some of you may remember a year ago i was training wild west players personally to become better in the game i taught them everything i knew i'm starting that again this time with 10 times more knowledge on the game all you need to do is become a channel member for the last two ranks i will personally teach you everything i know step by step sadly for the first rank i won't be providing you in person guidance but i can give you everything in a theoretical perspective if you have bought the membership already join my discord server and ping me with proof that you have bought it enough self promotion guys here are some basic steps to do the following three shift shooting Shift shooting is about timing of the shift button. While shift shooting, you have to continuously hold right click and perform your shots with your shift key. It took me almost two months to become really good at this as a starter. You can watch my PVP guide to learn more. Fan shooting, same thing as shift shooting, but this time you're going to hold the fan key, which for the keyboard is F. I personally use my thumb to hold the F key because it allows me to move both sides. If I were to use my index finger, I can only move the left side. You probably didn't understand much. That's why you should buy my channel membership and learn from me directly. I promise it's the last time I'm going to promote this accuracy. For accuracy, you need to have a mouse, a working hand, move it around your mouse to track your opponent. Also, make sure to hit your shots. It doesn't get simpler than this. Oh by the way I will also provide you a routine that will help you improve your aim in a extreme rate if you were to buy the membership Oh my god I said out stop let's assume you now know how to do shift shooting shift fanning and have good accuracy now you must know how to do a perfect combo with it this depends on your creative play style we all have different play styles so so your combo hugely relies on your creativity and playing style Just for explanation I will showcase you my combo. I firstly shoot my Lindsay hoping out hit at least one of my shots and then immediately switch to the hard mode to do the finishing blow. If I were to miss both of my shots I would switch to the model 3 and shoot thrice with the fan. Then I would most likely reload my hard mode and then my Lindsay to repeat the start. But this time hit my shot. Personally me I finish off any player with just the Lindsay on the hard mode but sometimes complications occur and I have to use my model 3. Learning my combo in the start might be very difficult so I recommend you guys to become a channel member okay I'm just joking I won't promote it anymore but still I will directly help you hopefully this video helped you become a better player and stopped your addiction of grinding for auction guns click on the left to improve your wild west skills for free and click on the right to find out the best guns in the game